Jest, jest, jest! Puyo Meda! Puyo Meda! Puyo Meda! I'm really looking forward to start the Dauphiné. It's uh, always a beautiful and uh, really hard race, so... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to race after uh, a long time. It's uh, always an important part of the season. We did a nice camp, uh, some recon of the Tour, and uh, now it's time to race. Hi, Flo! Hi! It was, I think, uh, difficult. Classic campaign for, for the team, for me. Uh, yeah, it's like this. You have to, to look forward and... Luckily, uh, Remco won Liège. It's always special uh, as a French man to, to race in your home country. Uh, I always uh, have a good... Uh, had a good memories about uh, the Dauphiné. It's really like the, the same atmosphere uh, than the Tour. Also, the level is uh, really high, so it's a really nice race. And uh, you know if you if you are good, you know directly. as they approach the final climb which topped out with just 11k to go and the catch appeared to be imminent but Herogotz had other ideas going solo at the front and absolutely hammering his way back into town the chase was on and the young Belgian was holding steady at 10 seconds it's going to be close is he going to be swamped on the line the peloton are coming Trentin is there Laporte is there are they going to get him right on the finish line they power their way through. Christophe Laporte! Merci. Merci. J'étais trop loin dans la bosse. J'étais encore là, mais je voulais remonter en descente. Mais. J'ai essayé d'emmener Badjo. Tu sais, il voulait faire ouais, le sprint. Euh, avec le Nigegaard, mon gars, ça a touché. Après, j'ai euh, ah. arrêté. Oh. Yeah, we are uh, a, strong, a strong team here at the Dauphiné. Uh, for sure, we have uh, some opportunities to, to take a stage win. Uh, we will try our best. That's uh, the goal of the week, to try to, try to win. Yes, yes, yes.
goes for glory. Laporte is there. He doesn't have the legs. Julian Alaphilippe! Julian Alaphilippe wins the stage. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, boys. Thank you. C'est bien la délégation. Ah, machine. C'est ça les sprints de Sierra là. I feel happy, of course. It's um, always nice to to win a stage here in uh, in the Dauphiné. After uh, such a fast day, and uh, yeah, I think uh, everybody is happy because we did a, a good job. Dries was pulling all day, but Joe closed a really strong uh, attack in the final kilometers. And at the end, uh, I just tried to do uh, my best uh, sprint. So yeah, it's a, a good feeling to take a stage victory. We knew that if it's full gas, the, the two laps, the, on the circuit, it, it, it would be difficult for Ritan, so we was uh, focused to, to do something with uh, Andrea, Florian and me. But uh, yeah, everybody did, did a crazy job. Uh, like I said, there is also Mori and uh, in the final we just uh, try to, to do our best. I'm just uh, happy to be here, I enjoy racing and uh, I hope to be on a good shape also for the, the two. Dames en heren, mag ik je applaus voor de ploeg Sundal Quickstep! We zijn hier in de Belgian Tour, preparing to the France, een paar sprint stages. One harder stage, short time trial. We're coming back from altitude camp, so we kind of want to get back into the racing mode. I think the condition is there. Uh, we are here with the, the, the squad for the sprint train in the tour. So we have to get used to each other again after a period with a bit less racing. So after Hungary and, and the camp in Sierra Nevada, it's now really time to, to do the last practice or you could say a general repetition for the for the Tour de France. So we are here with a strong team and yeah, we want to get the lead out right, try and win stages, yeah, and build the towards top shape so we can start 1st of July in, in Bilbao with a top shape. Michael is very important. He has a crucial role in getting myself into sprint winning position. This is something that he has been doing for maybe 10 years already. He has a lot of experience, so he's always the guy I listen to. I would say he's the road captain of the, of the team and very important, especially towards Tour de France. He knows what to do in a big tour, in the bunch, how to approach a sprint. I also know it a little bit, but for sure when we work together and we discuss, we, we get to the best possible result we can have. So he's, a, yeah, I would say he's one of the most important men for me to go to go to the tour with me. Yeah. close a couple of times before in Brugge I was third yesterday second and today first so uh, yeah this is the way we want to do it 
We are building up towards the Tour de France and uh, I think we are all on schedule. I feel good. I'm looking forward to, to be at the Tour. It's uh, always a, an exciting period of the, the year. Uh, the, yeah, the preparation went well. I think I did a good uh, Dauphiné where I felt uh, pretty on shape and I took a lot of pleasure during the race. I'm ready for the Tour. The Tour in general is uh, is a, a, a real adventure, human adventure. Every day you have to fight yourself and with the team. But uh, I'm really looking forward to start in uh, Bilbao, Pays Basque. I did a recon and uh, it will be a beautiful and hard uh, start of the tour. One side, it's hard to do a Tour de France, which is three weeks, or any Grand Tour. But it's what we do, what we train for, kind of what we like. Even though I know the last week I, I will never say this again. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's the highest level there is. It's top sport. That's why everybody trains and we are in this team. So I... I look forward to the first week, a bit more to the second week maybe, but then the last week I know is going to hurt. But when you are there, you want to do your best and that's how we approach this, this Tour de France. So um, yeah, it's a, a bit of both. I look forward and I also fear it a little bit. It's like you go in the wash machine and uh, you came out uh, three weeks after. You have to, to think that during July, most of the people uh, are uh, on holiday, so it's always full of public on the climbs in the cities. And yeah, the tour is uh, unique also for this reason. It's uh, just crazy to, to see so many people and uh, it's a really special atmosphere. Yeah, something you dream of when you were a little kid. Uh... You want to go to the Tour, give your best there, hopefully win a stage, maybe only start a race. And then first sprint chance there is to meet the take it. Yeah, that's, I would say, uh, a success already from the start. And then we knew there was going to be more chances and I definitely enjoy it. It's a lot of people watching. It's in the summer, so it's good weather. It's uh, beautiful roads, it's well organized. Sometimes it's a bit busy, but in the end, that's what we are used to. And the fans make it nice and all the people at home can watch it because it's all over the TV and the news everywhere. So that makes winning a stage like that, uh, yeah, probably the biggest victory of my career. So I would almost say, uh, yeah, that I get, that I, I accomplished what you want as as when you was a little kid. But even then, you know you can win one, so you're hungry for the second, and yeah, then that mentality of an athlete kicks in. You want to try again, and the next day and do your best, and that's how I look back at that victory. That it was just the beginning. I would say I look forward to many more. It's really difficult to to choose on the one moment because I had already, uh, I have already a lot of emotions in the tour. So maybe the, the first stage in Landerno 2021, 2021, when I won with the rainbow jersey and just after the, the birth of my son, 
that was uh, something special, but uh, yeah. Okay. Also my first yellow jersey uh, in 19. For sure. Uh, I think Julien is one of the most famous riders in France, probably in the whole Tour de France. But for me, he's especially a strong teammate, uh, one who will go 100% for the team when he has to. And the other way around, we do the same. So I'm just happy that he will be there. Uh, for sure, we can use him in the sprint train to get to the finish. And like I said, he will commit 100% for the team if he has to. And then he's just one of the best riders in the peloton. So I'm very happy that he's coming along and he he will race with us because uh, he will be very useful. I did a few as a rider. I did uh, a lot already, more as a, as a DS than a, as a sport director than as a rider. And the tour that stands out, there are so many. I mean, we have uh, the yellow jersey of, uh, of Julien, which was very exciting to uh, to experience. But you also have the green jerseys. You also have the stage wins of Marcel Kittel. There are so many experiences. But even one stage in the in the Tour de France can be can be excited. So. It's such a tough race that every victory is, is a party. The Tour this year is, is always, when it doesn't start with the time trial, the battle for yellow is always open. Uh, you start in the, in, in the best country, which are already two really tough stages. Uh, it's not so easy, so people who go for, for general classification have to be already awake to not to lose time, and the guys who want to take the jersey have to, take, uh, have to race. So it, it's already difficult who will control, who will not control. So it's going to be already quite exciting um, how those stages will, will go. Then you have, a f I think, two flat stages. So um, yeah, then it's up to, to the sprinters to control the race and to try to win the stage. But the Tour in general, besides the really tough stages uh, where the, it upper finishes and hard, hard, long climbs, it's think a really open open tour where also the breakaways can have a very important part and the difference is that year uh, instead of for example last year that there are not so many upper finishes in the breakaway stages and that opens the door for many more riders to win a stage well uh, of course the build up towards there uh, knowing you kind of go to your top shape um, the training plan that is laid out towards there, you know, the teammates are all going to be at 100%. The whole world is watching, the sponsors think it's important. We think it's, a, we know it's the biggest race, it is the biggest race. And in the end, we are all professional cyclists because we want to reach our top and measure ourselves against the best. And I think the Tour de France is the podium to do that. Even though it's very hard, difficult, not easy, but that makes it much more rewarding when you win. So yeah, that, that's probably uh, why the Tour de France is the biggest race and why we all want to go there, because we're athletes and we always want the maximum. There is no specific preparation in the head for me. I mean, just the, the, the work you do on the trainings, the recon, you feel more more confident when you know some stages. It's I think it's really important, but uh, for the rest is uh, only your grinta and motivation. You have to, to be ready to fight for three weeks. Tour de France, here we go.